the world famous K Rock. I'm Nicole Alvarez here with the Monsters and Men, and I believe it's Ragnar yes. and Nana. Yes. I can pronounce your name because I watch the show Vikings. Oh, yes. Yes. I which I like very, very much. <laughs> I'm going to get closer. You guys, so this year I almost went to Iceland. I bought a ticket and everything, but my mom got sick, so I couldn't go because I've always been so fascinated with it over there. The landscape is beautiful. Do you think growing up there, it kind of lent itself to the kind of music that you play, the storytelling? I think it definitely has uh, an influence. And I think it's more sonic, sonically than uh, lyrically, but uh, it definitely yeah. How's the live music scene in Iceland when you were growing up? Were you able to go to a lot of shows? Um, not when I was very young, but when I was um, like a teenager, I would go to a lot of shows. I would try to go to Reykjavik because I grew up like in a very small town, um, like 40 minutes away from Reykjavik. And I would like, yeah, try to take the bus or or drive when I could drive. Now, how did you guys become friends? Um, we kind of just met through, uh, well, my friend is her boyfriend. So through that, yeah. Very cool. Do you remember the first time you played a show in the United States? Was it intimidating? Was it the one in the bike shop? That was the one in the bike shop. Yeah, South by West. Well, that was the first, like, we also played, like, oh, uh, yeah. some shows in New York. That was really fun. But the one in the bike shop is very memorable. Yeah, it was intimidating, but uh, nice. Now, it's incredible that you guys have, off your first album, four songs played on the radio. Usually it's one song or two songs. What did that feel like? Or do you, are you a, a surprised at all by it? Well, yeah, surprised. I didn't even know they played four songs, but that's cool. Yeah, yeah. four songs. We, our station has played four songs of yours. Oh, okay, that's cool. And people love it. It's incredible. Cool. Now, I know you've played Coachella, you've played Bonnaroo. What's it like playing these radio festivals with other bands? Do you sit and do you watch the bands play as well? Do you get inspired? I mean, we try to watch them when we get a yeah. chance to. I watched, I watched uh, Vance Joy and... Uh, Cold War Kids earlier, but I get nervous like watching and seeing the crowd before I go on stage. So sometimes I just want to like see them when I play. But. So you guys have a new album coming, Beneath the Skin, and I've watched the video for Crystals so many times. It's incredible. It's got this like steampunk thing going on. Who came up with the concept? Because nowadays people don't focus that much on videos because, you know, it's not like the old days that they had music channels. This video is very artistic. So how did it come about? Well, we worked with um, a very brilliant team of people. Um, the directors were uh, guys, Icelandic guys, and they, and they call themselves uh, Arni and Kinski. And um, yeah, and it was kind of like it was just a good collaboration, you know. Yeah. Yeah, we had this idea of like having the, the, this machine that we're working on, and, they, and then they just took it to another level. And, and um, it was a very cool time. It was very fun. It's incredible. Yeah. You guys have contributed to The Hunger Games. You've had a song on The Walking Dead. You've done so much. TV, movies. Would you ever think about um, putting together or scoring a movie? Yeah. That would be yeah. Great. I want to score Definitely. a horror movie. Yeah, it'd be cool. Yeah, it would be amazing. <laughs> do you guys, has, is it easy to write together? Is, how does it, is the music first and then the writing or do you guys sit in a room and do it? Do you email each other ideas? I just, you know, it just varies. Sometimes, you know, we, because I'm in Denmark a lot, sometimes we email to, you know, yeah. one another. And, and but we, you know, like the two of us have a very good, um, you know, uh, collaboration. We work yeah. very well together, so it's not hard. That's no. incredible. I was on your Twitter the other day, and you taught me a magic trick. Can I show you? <laughs> Hold sure. on. Oh, no, where's the... Okay, here. So he taught me this magic trick. It's really easy. Or no, it's really hard. It's so hard. there's this video on Twitter and he goes, look, I'm going to make this cup disappear. And he puts it right here and he goes, it's gone. <laughs> best well, magic yeah. trick in the entire world. It works better with no sound. I understand, but I did the best I could you with what good. I you have. Thank you so much for coming here and being here and playing Weenie Roast. I know you, goes, you guys go on at 930. Will you stay and watch Muse? Yeah. 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 Was, have you ever seen Muse? Uh, yeah, in Iceland. They played when uh, we were teenagers. I would kill to see Muse in Iceland. That's oh cool. my God, incredible. Well, you guys are going to be magnificent as always. Thank you so much. Of Monsters and Men, we're backstage live for K-Rock's Weenie Roast.